Okay, so in our grammar journals, in our table of contents for the week of 10-1, that's October 1st, that's for that week, Nifty 50, our words will be informal and impossible. And I'm going to put that on page 10. Again, our words are informal and impossible. So I'm going to turn to page 10. And what journal? Yes, my grammar journal. So I'm going to turn it there. Now I'm going to make my graphic organizer. I'm going to put the definition, synonym, antonym. What's a synonym? Synonym, it means the same. What is an antonym? It means the opposite. Then I'm going to make a sentence with my word, and I'm going to visualize it. My next word is informal. That's informal. I'm going to make a definition, synonym, antonym. Again, synonym means the same. Antonym means opposite. I'm going to make a sentence. Then I'm going to visualize with the word informal. That's what I'm going to put on the right side of my graphic organizer. You can pause this video anytime you like. On the left side, I'm going to put my prefix, my three columns. The first one's going to be the prefix, my base word or root word, my suffix, and then I'm going to put prefix, my base or root word, and my suffix. Hmm, where does a prefix found of the word? impossible. Hmm. A prefix is at the beginning. My base word is in black. So that would go here. How about my other word? Informal. My prefix is found where? At the beginning of the word. My base and then the suffix is found at the end. Okay? Now, to get the definition, I can go to dictionary.com or I can get a dictionary. Uh, the sentence I used was, it is impossible to straighten my hair. Right? So my complete subject is it. And my complete predicate is impossible to straighten my hair. And there I am trying to comb my hair. Ouch. Okay. Then my next word is informal. That's informal. The, the sentence I used is the dance was an informal event because everyone was wearing jeans. Of course, I start with a capital letter. My subject, of course, is dance. My complete predicate, I'm going to underline. Of course, I always end with a punctuation. And there I am wearing my really cool jeans. So my two words for Nifty 50 are impossible and informal. Again, and this is the graphic organizer where I'm going to put the definition, synonym, antonym. I'm going to write a complete sentence with a subject, complete subject, and a complete predicate. Then I'm going to visualize my sentence. And that is your Nifty 50 for the week.